Shout it from the mountaintops. We're 4,500 feet above sea level for this month's episode of the award-winning WCC All Access, coming to you from the campus of BYU. I'm Ezra Broder, and coming up, who's the favorite to bring home the hardware this spring? We break down the picks to win five different sports. Plus, she's one of the best shot blockers in the country. She's also one of the smartest people you'll ever meet. We go on and off the field with BYU's Sarah Hampson. And he was born in the town where pizza was invented. So what does Willie Caruso think of American pizza? The Santa Clara sophomore puts it to a taste test. But first, it's shaping up to be a competitive race for the baseball title here on the Diamond. Last year's regular season champ, BYU, is once again a top contender. Let's preview the WCC baseball season. This year's race for the baseball crown might be as competitive as any season in recent memory. Three different teams received first place votes in the preseason poll. Last year's tournament champion, LMU, regular season champion, BYU, and the pick to win this year's title, Gonzaga. Yeah, it just throws a challenge at us right away. And I think that's good for us because, you know, we're, in a, we're a team that shows a lot of resilience. Bouncing back in that New Mexico game um, just showed that we still fight. That being said, a slew of other teams look to compete for the top spot. Perennial powers Pepperdine and San Diego are off to hot starts, while San Francisco head coach Nino Giratano thinks the Dons are in the thick of it. We've been competing at a high level, but I have more of a, a desire right now to, to break through again and, and, and get, to, get to that regional, get to that super regional, give us that chance to, to play deeper into the season. So I think our expectations are a little bit higher for 2020 based on the players that are coming back uh, based on the injuries we had last year and those players coming back. So uh, really excited to, to compete at a very high level. Three new coaches join the conference as LMU, St. Mary's, and Pacific have new bench bosses. The 10 head coaches picked Gonzaga, BYU, and LMU for the top three spots. Pepperdine and San Diego tied in fourth. San Francisco, St. Mary's, Portland, Santa Clara, and Pacific round out the remainder of the poll. It could be seventh heaven for the BYU softball team. The Cougars are the six-time defending WCC champs and look to take home yet another title in 2020. New season, same story. BYU returns as the favorite to win its seventh straight WCC title. Six starters from last year's team are back, including 2018 Conference Player of the Year, Riley Jensen McFarland. Uh, Riley Jensen is our leader offensively as a as a senior and she has power, she has speed, she can, she's a triple threat. Um, up and down the lineup we have power and the ability to make things happen so offensively we're very explosive. We have excellent pitching, our defense is solid. Uh, the thing we need is to continue to get experience for a very young team. Another major storyline is fresh faces. Two of the six programs have new head coaches. Jessica Pistol is San Diego's new head coach, while Santa Clara is led by Gina Carbonato. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be loud. We're going to be energetic, and we're going to have a team out there. Um, when you come watch us, you're going to hear us. We always talk about a culture change here, um, and we're in the process of doing that, and every year we see improvement. Um, so we just want to keep building on that, um, and hopefully this year we keep going. The coaches picked the Cougars to repeat in the preseason poll, with LMU coming in second place. The Toreros are picked to finish third, Pacific and Santa Clara tied for fourth in the bowl, with St. Mary's picked to finish sixth. Time to take a break. When we come back, we recap the biggest stories from across the conference over the last month. And good luck getting a shot off over Sarah Hampson. The six foot seven junior shows off her talents on and off the court when we return. WCC All Access is brought to you in part by Nike. What is our way? Our way is unrelenting, imposing as the mountaintops to our east, strong as the ocean to our west. Our way is forward, challenged by past achievement, expecting future success. Our way is committed, devoted, passionate. Our way fuels us to be different, to be inspired, to have faith in each other. What is our way? Our way is west. It's not every day that you can work on a project that has the potential to change the world.
For every hour of engineering that was spent by a BYU student, over 144 years of water has been delivered. We're back on WCC All Access from Provo, Utah. I'm Ezra Broder. It's time to go down the coast and see what's making headlines around the conference. We'll start right here in Provo, where Yoli Childs is a finalist for the Senior Class Award. It's given to a college basketball senior who excels both on and off the court. Childs will likely finish with over 2,000 career points and 1,000 rebounds. You can vote for Yoli until March 23rd by going to SeniorClassAward.com. To the diamond, a former Zag standout is cashing in. Marco Gonzalez signed a four-year contract extension with the Seattle Mariners, reportedly worth $30 million. The former WCC Player of the Year won 16 games and posted an ERA under four last season, both career highs. Gonzalez won a few games in college against Nino Giritano, but not as many Ws as the USF head coach has racked up. 900 career wins for the Don's bench boss as he picked up the milestone win earlier this season. That total spans his 22 years at USF and his previous stops at the junior college level. Congrats! Some of those wins came at Louis Gisto Field in Moraga, but it'll have a new name come next season. St. Mary's announced renovations to its baseball complex beginning this summer. The new complex will include new seats, press box, and entrance. It'll be named after former school president, brother Ronald Gallagher. She's one of the best shot blockers in the entire country. At six foot seven, Sarah Hampson certainly sticks out on the hardwood. But in the classroom, it's her near perfect GPA that makes the bioinformatics major stand tall. Let's go on and off the field with BYU's Sarah Hampson. Seven block shots for Sarah Hampson. So it's not a stretch to imagine that Sarah here is really good defensively. Sarah, you lead the country in block shots and blocks per game. Now, I've been on the receiving end of a block shot, but tell me what it feels like to just swat someone. It's very empowering, and it's a great confidence builder to just shut someone down. I don't know, it just feels really great. I feel like it's probably a great way to get some aggression out. Yes, definitely gets me going, gets me in a more aggressive mindset, gets the whole team going, it's fun. So you're one of the most prolific shot blockers in BYU history, and, and in WCC history for that matter. There's only two people in BYU history who have more, and they are? My mom and my sister. How badly do you want to pass them? So badly, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I should be able to pass my sister. I don't know if by the end of this season or next, but my mom has set a pretty high goal of 490 something, and yes, I'd ha I'll have to do some work to get there. Mom knows we'll best, see. right? Yes, mother knows best. <laughs> Okay, you're going to show us exactly how to block a shot now. Okay, let's do it. Joining me now is Kaylee Smiler, who graciously is going to let me block her shot. <laughs> Some of the things that I like to focus on when blocking is keeping them in front of me, not falling for their shot fakes, and then just timing it up and blocking it. So let's get to it. That was nice. <laughs> so, unfortunately for you, Sarah, you can't major in block shots, but luckily you're pretty good at something else. Yeah, I'm a bioinformatics major. Let me show you what I do. Let's do it. So we're here in the Life Sciences building where you spend a fair amount of time for your major, your bioinformatics major. Just explain what that is, first of all. It's half computer science, half biology. It's often used in research, especially in genetics and with DNA analysis like is done in this lab. So what would you do with that kind of degree after school? I'm planning on using it more for programming and hopefully I could get a job remotely and travel, maybe play some basketball, we'll see. We would use this program to help align the different genes from different species of, de of fish. And we'd compare them and find out where they're very similar or where they're very different. And we would use that information to try and see what that gene looked like thousands of years ago before it evolved and split into the different fish species. You have a 3.9 GPA. 
You're on the WCC Commissioner's Gold Honor Roll the last couple of years. Oh yeah, you're also a D1 athlete. Um, how hard is it to balance basketball and academics? Uh, it definitely takes a lot of work, a lot of time management. You have to plan ahead because we're gone for half a week every other week during season. Yeah, and you just gotta talk to your professors, get a good relationship with them, and they've been really helpful and worked with me a lot. When we come back, what's trending on social media? We'll check out the best tweets and posts from around the conference. And he's only spending one year in Portland, but has made friends for life. We look at the unique relationship between Isaiah White and a 10-year-old Pilots fan. That and more, up next. What is our way? Our way is unrelenting. Imposing as the mountaintops to our east, strong as the ocean to our west. Our way is forward, challenged by past achievement, expecting future success. Our way is committed, devoted, passionate. Our way fuels us to be different, to be inspired, to have faith in each other. What is our way? Our way is West. Here are some of the best moments on social media. Talk about starting off your college career on the right foot. San Diego freshman Madison Earnshaw threw a no-hitter in mid-February to earn her first college win. It's the first no-no for the Toreros since 2016. Way to go. Talk about being on fire. How about the Pepperdine men's golf team? After winning their first two tournaments of the spring season, the Waves are ranked number one in the country. It's the first time in program history they're ranked at the top. Speaking of winning all the time, no one did it better than Bill Russell. The USF alum and 11-time NBA champion with the Celtics sat courtside for Celtics Lakers and paid his respects to Kobe Bryant by wearing his number 24 jersey. We're on the campus of Brigham Young University for WCC All Access. I'm Ezra Broder. Beach volleyball has been Pepperdine's sport but the rivals in LA shocked the Waves to win last year's WCC title. Let's preview this year's season in the sand. Here's the, game. the PCH rivalry has never been better. LMU and Pepperdine are both in the top 10 nationally after strong campaigns in 2019. The Lions beat the Waves in the WCC championship to claim its first beach title. We have a great team this year, um, really deep team, and I think we have every opportunity to do it again. Um, it was really nice that we came out on top and it kind of showed you know, how hard we've been working. Meanwhile, Pepperdine will have a new look in year two under Marcio Sicoli. It's a really exciting mix of girls with a lot of like green players and a lot of new players, so you just have a lot of different mentalities, different aspects to the game that we're all bringing, and it's making us all better. Um, so I think it's just really exciting to be a part of something like that and creating kind of a new legacy for this season. LMU is picked to finish first in the WCC preseason poll, voted on by the head coaches. Pepperdine picked to be runner-up. St. Mary's is picked to finish third, followed by Santa Clara, San Francisco, Pacific, and Portland. Naples, Italy is known as the birthplace of pizza, and trust me, it tastes so good there. Santa Clara's Willie Caruso is also from there. We wanted to find out why he'd voluntarily leave that behind, and also had him put American pizza to the test. We're pretty famous around the world for our pizza, and I'm proud of it because I'm a huge pizza fan. I, I could eat pizza every day, and it was hard to move, in, to move here where, like, Pizza obviously is not as good, but like uh, when I have a chance, I like I always get a slice of pizza somewhere because it's just like my favorite food, and I miss Nip the pizza from Naples, absolutely. I went to visit Willie in uh, Naples this summer, and I'm not gonna lie, it was the best pizza I ever had. Like it wasn't even close compared to the pizza here. So I know I don't give him a lot of credit, but with, for the pizza, you know, I'm gonna I'm give that to him. Oh. Good, huh? Pretty similar, hmm? <laughs> almost there. The thing that makes the biggest difference, compared, like, it's probably just like the ingredients. Ingredients are just like different. Like the tomato is really fresh. 
the mozzarella is mozzarella. We're famous also for mozzarella di bufala in Naples. Yeah, for me that, that was the biggest difference. Definitely uh, the mozzarella. This would be, probably be like pretty good, like an eight, probably seven. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give it a seven. Like you, you've tried both, like yeah. you can see the similarity, like yeah. compared to like the other pizza you eat, right? Yeah. Santa Clara's gonna make a push down the time. Words, Rockets for three. There's the push. I definitely miss my mom's cooking. Um, you know, uh, she's like both my parents are from Croatia, so she cooks a lot of food from there. So like that's I think the biggest thing that I definitely miss from from being back home. Obviously, I miss a lot my family and especially my two little sisters. Because I knew that was what I was gonna miss. It was family, a family, and coming here, I knew that uh, this was a great environment. Like a great, it's basically like a second family for me. I was talking about coming to Santa Clara months before I even committed. Um, I had my visit planned with them really early on, and I was excited to go there. The second I stepped foot on campus, it was it was a no-brainer for me. So I was kind of I was kind of all in for Santa Clara pretty early on. Yeah. But don't eat my crust ever again. <laughs> you got my... Yeah, I was looking for it. I wanted to eat it. You left it there, so I thought you yeah, did. Yeah, I was gonna get it back. I thought we were talking, so I just stopped. <laughs> it is good though. Ellicott City, Maryland, is 2,800 miles away from Portland, Oregon. Safe to say, Isaiah White is a long way from home. But a 10-year-old Pilots fan has made the grad transfer feel like a part of her family. We came to the men's game against UC Davis, and they had a family clinic that they hosted after the game. And we uh, met Isaiah at that time. He really showed very good sportsmanship during the game, and he was a really good player. After the game, he was just very personable and friendly and patient with the kids and spent a lot of time getting to know them and he just was very genuine. I think I spent like 30, 40 minutes after the game out here just talking to uh, Emma and, and the family. My kids were very concerned that he was living so far away from all of his family <laughs> and um, my daughter asked us if he could be our exchange student, kind of like a foreign <laughs> exchange student, but we could be um, something like his host family here in Portland so that he had a connection here and so they wrote him a letter. That really meant a lot, you know, especially being across the country from my own family, um, just to know that there are people, you know, thinking about you. It really, it really meant a lot, especially during that time away from my family. We've been to almost every home game since then. <laughs> my daughter started wanting to make signs for him in the crowd, so we had signs that said, Go Pilots on one side and Go Isaiah on the other side. In a timeout or before the game or during the intros, I'll just look up and I see Emma just holding the sign, you know. Usually we wait um, after the game and talk to Isaiah. Oh, uh, we say hi and I don't know, we talk about the game and how he did well. No, 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 just like, okay, whatever. The big thing that impressed me was that he is a good teammate and as a parent and as a coach, that's really what you want your kids to see, right? Somebody who's a leader on the floor and encourages their teammates. <laughs> I think when I first met them, I had no idea that it would turn into this, and I'm not sure if they thought it would too, but it just kind of matriculated into that, and uh, you know, that's, I'm grateful for it. You know, playing college sports is a privilege and not a given, but especially this year, I'm grateful for the opportunity that I'm in, and I'm, I'm grateful for Portland and the community and the people in it um, who have just embraced me and uh, made me feel at home, made me feel like this is home away from home. One more block to go. Coming up, we break down the favorites to win the men's and women's tennis titles in the WCC. And the San Diego women's basketball team is enjoying a winning season, thanks in part to the unique relationship between its two senior stars. Maddie and Patty show us how to have some fun when we come back. What is our way? Our way is unrelenting. Imposing as the mountaintops to our east, strong as the ocean to our west. Our way is forward, challenged by past achievement, expecting future success. Our way is committed, devoted, passionate. Our way fuels us to be different, to be inspired, to have faith in each other. What is our way? Our way is West.
Here's what to watch for in the coming weeks. WCC Spring Championships aren't that far off. LMU tries to defend its beach volleyball title in mid-April. It'll once again be held at Ocean Park Beach in Santa Monica, California. The following weekend, three more trophies to hand out. The Women's Golf Championship will be held at Reflection Bay Golf Club in Henderson, Nevada. At the same time, the men's and women's tennis tournaments take place in Claremont, California. Welcome back to WCC All Access. I'm Ezra Broder. The Pepperdine women and San Diego men have dominated WCC tennis for the better part of the last decade. Will it be the same story this season? Let's take a look. Pepperdine is once again the favorite to win the WCC women's tennis title. Senior Ashley Leahy says even though it's a younger squad, the goal remains the same. I'm so excited to compete with this team. We're really, really close off the court. I love being with them. Uh, they're amazing, amazing people and players and it's all, it's all going to be very new for them and so I want to keep the expectations low for the beginning. That doesn't mean that we're not going to go out and do our best, but I just know that with this team we're going to have to build continuously throughout and I think the best is yet to come. This, this is just the beginning. San Diego is picked to finish second in the preseason coaches poll. LMU, St. Mary's and Gonzaga round out the top five. They're followed by BYU, Pacific, San Francisco, Santa Clara and Portland. On the men's side, the Toreros come in as the favorites, though junior Nico Border says the WCC is getting better every year. Our conference uh, has, some, has some really good teams and the uh, conference keep, keeps getting better, I feel like. So we always have to improve as, a, as, a, as an individual and as a team in order to uh, compete with, uh, with the best teams in the conference. The rest of the pack is trying to keep pace with San Diego, including Portland, who is on the rise after a rough 2019. Last year we were so young. I mean, there was matches where we played only freshmen. So I think those guys have come a long ways. Um, we're kind of a little bit more of a traditional team now where we've got some, some obviously still plenty of youth, but a little bit of uh, leadership and experience at the top too. San Diego, Pepperdine, and BYU are the top three picks in the coaches' preseason poll. They're followed by Gonzaga, LMU, Portland, and Santa Clara. Pacific, St. Mary's, and San Francisco round out the poll. One is from a small city in Washington state. The other is one of 3.7 million people that call Berlin, Germany home. Madison Pollock and Patricia Brossman come from different backgrounds, but the San Diego seniors have found common ground on the basketball court. Hi, I'm Madison Pollock. Hi, I'm Patricia Brossman. And we're seniors at the University of San Diego and we play women's basketball. Side to Pollock, beautiful pass, Brossman to Pollock. I'm from Berlin, Germany, far away. <laughs> I'm from Snohomish, Washington, and we're here to show you guys our handshake and break it down for you. Here, <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again. So, I don't know. I don't know why we did that. I think we were just bored at one. Yeah, like, I think we were just bored one day at home. And we we're like, you know, we, we're best friends, so we need a handshake that we can do, you know, for every game. For every game. So when we come off for the huddle, get in our handshake, and we basically just like, when it's right. Yeah. So we just, one, then we go down, up. What are we doing? Wait. No, wait, it goes boom, one, two, boom, two, up, down, up, middle. Down. Ow! <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, wait hold we on. need to switch. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Oh, oh yeah, right. there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I need to slow down. Okay, really quick. okay. So slow down, down left, boom, right, up, left, right, down, down. down. We go in and see it out. We'll and then go boom, boom, boom back again. Boom, we side. And then and we go then in for the shot. We go in for the shot. <laughs> and that's so, basically it. So yeah. in fast speed. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so that's how we always start our game off with like a little handshake. So. That's how it is. That'll do it from Provo. Thank you for watching WCC All Access. We leave you with some of the best plays from the last month of action around the West Coast Conference. See you next time. Ground ball to second. Up with it, Mydroth. And a no hitter for Jake Miller. A brilliant effort, 101 pitches for Jake Miller. Here comes Cody Ross. Ross for the win. Has to put up a prayer at the buzzer, and she hits it. What is our way? Our way is unrelenting. 
imposing as the mountaintops to our east, as strong as the ocean to our west. Our way is forward, challenged by past achievement, expecting future success. Our way is committed, devoted, passionate. Our way fuels us to be different, to be inspired, to have faith in each other. What is our way? Our way is West.